Hi, today we're looking at photographing winter thrushes on berries. Primarily red wings and field fares, but the other thrushes too, song thrush, missile thrush and blackbird. When the red wings and field fares first arrive in the UK in the autumn, they are extremely touchy. You won't get anywhere near to them from a photography point of view. As the winter progresses, they start to become tamer and tamer and both species can become silly tame by late winter when especially if there's snow on the floor they get to a point where you can put some apples on the floor put a hide up and within 10 seconds they're down feeding on those apples but early in the winter very difficult to get close to as the berries start to diminish there's less and less options for them you start to get closer to them and sometimes they will accept a hide but I'm going to suggest that most decent pictures of red wings and field fares are taken from the car window. It, they really lend themselves to car window photography because they're feeding on hedgerows that are along the side of farm tracks like this one, or country lanes, or laybys and uh, car parks, and they're feeding on the berries on the, on the edges. So it gives you a good opportunity to get the car in position and photograph them from the car window. And certainly most of my pictures of Red Wings and Field Fairs are taken from the car. Not all, in fact I did have a hide up here on these slow berries just off to the right two winters ago. And I got my, my best pictures of Red Wings taking slow berries which I'll show you in a bit. So this is the sort of place I'm looking for, somewhere where I can get the car quite close to a hedgerow. Ideally you're looking for a hedgerow that's not too high, you don't want to be looking up. And I'm very fussy about light. Sometimes I want overcast light conditions, sometimes I want it to be sunny. And um, for doing this particular subject, when you've got a bird on red berries, I really want it to be a sunny day. Now earlier on this morning it was sunny, and now it's clouded over, so I'm, I'm actually giving up the photography and I thought I'd do the bit to camera while it's cloudy. But if you can get the sun shining on those red berries, it brings out the colour in the berries. But more importantly, you want a blue sky behind. A white sky doesn't look very nice. I prefer a blue sky. Don't mind a dark, thundery black sky, or dark sky, but um, I really prefer to do field fairs and red wings on a sunny day. So here in the Midlands, over the years, I've found all the best locations where field fairs and red wings feed on the berries, where you can get good access to them from the car. This could be country lanes with laybys, uh, commons and heathland, and um, um, supermarket car parks as well. They're very good for doing the, the winter thrushes. And normally at this time of year in December, I'd be going around checking these places out. But this year I'm a bit restricted because of the travel restrictions. So I've only really got a couple of locations which are local to me. And I can go out and get to one of them is just here. And there's another one a couple of miles away. But um, it's just a question of finding a place where you can get the car park it safely and they're close enough to a hedgerow to photograph the birds and say as the winter progresses they will get tamer and tamer. When I'm doing stills photography I'm much happier using a bean bag from the car window. Bean bags have got the advantage of being very flexible. I can move it up and down very easily, take it to the other window very easily. I can even wind the glass up if I want a bit more elevation and get it a little bit higher. So that's for stills photography and beanbag every time. But if I'm doing video, which I do a lot of these days, I've got to have a tripod head here. And then at the moment I'm using a Kirk window mount for that. It's far from perfect. And I'm still trying to come up with the, the perfect idea for video from car windows. Uh, there are brackets you can buy that fit on the outside. Those seem to be the ultimate, but a bit over the top for the UK. If I was in Africa, yes, I'd do it. But uh, Scrim netting on the window, very rarely do that. If a bird is going to come close enough not to be intimidated by this car, um, then it's not likely to make any difference whether you've got scrimming or not. If it's tame enough to come this close, it's not going to be bothered by a little bit of movement. Occasionally I put scrimming, but uh, not very often. So we'll start off with some video of field fairs. From a weather point of view, the other thing you're looking for is a windless day. You don't want a breeze blowing because the branches will be swaying in the wind, the bird will be going up and down, in and out of the frame. There's a red wing in the background there. Very noticeable when these thrushes are feeding on berries that they don't eat every one. They seem to taste one or feel something wrong with it and spit it out. So you get an awful lot of berries that um, end up on the floor like that one. 
Well, I guess they do get eaten on the floor, perhaps later in the year, or perhaps by mice. When you're taking stills pictures, it's really nice to try and get a picture with the red berry in the bill. And of course, that's become much easier to do now because we've got cameras going off at 18 or 20 frames per second. So as soon as you see the bird's head move towards the berry, you just start the camera running and you've got an excellent chance of catching it at the right moment. So here's a red wing. This is the one I mentioned where I put a hide up in the hedgerow and got a red wing taking a slow berry. Generally speaking, when the thrushes first arrive, they eat the rowan berries first, then it's the slow berries, and then the hawthorn and holly berries. That seems to be the order of preference. The slow berry is rather large, of course, so it struggles a bit. So this was taken two winters ago, and from a canvas hide. And now red wings on the hawthorn berries. I wonder what the difference was between those two berries that didn't like the first one but swallowed the second. They do seem to have their favourite bushes, so once a, a flock starts to gather on one bush, they keep going and ignore bushes to the sides, and then perhaps later on go to a different bush. So once you see them feeding in one place, there is a very good chance they're going to come back to it again. So later on in the year, when the berries have all gone and there's snow on the floor, that's when red wings and field fares will start to come into apples on the floor. And that can be another very successful way of photographing them. But it's not just field fares and red wings, we'll look at some of the other thrushes too. This is a blackbird. I haven't got any video of song thrush or missile thrush yet taking berries. Lots of stills pictures, but not the video. So now I'll show a few stills pictures I've taken over the years. And this is one of my favourite sequences, field fair on hawthorn berries in a hoarfrost. Now we don't get hoarfrost very often in the Midlands, probably about once every 10 years. And the chances of that being a day you can get out and photograph and you've still got some berries left and the field fairs are there it's very rare this doesn't happen very often but just beautiful conditions and you know as you're taking the pictures you're, you're getting good pictures because the situation is just so perfect and then red wings also on hawthorn berries nice blue sky behind so it doesn't work if you've got a white sky and you always want that shot with the the berry in the bill or just dropping out of the bill and when you're shooting at 20 frames per second, then that isn't a problem. It's quite easy to get. And also blackbirds, these are more like an ornamental rowan tree. So this will be in a supermarket car park. And back to the hoarfrost where the field fairs were taken. Exposure is usually pretty simple because you're working on a nice sunny day with a blue sky it's fairly straightforward you shouldn't have to under or overexpose too much missile thrush this is in an industrial estate and you can see those are very much ornamental berries it's on missile thrushes can be very dominant and push all the other thrushes away this is a song thrush and i do have pictures of the other british thrush which is the ring oozle on berries but uh, I'm saving those for another session. Thanks for watching.